Hey everyone, get ready because we're diving back into a world of magic wands and crazy spells. Remember, Wizards of Waverly Place. Well, hold on to your hats because it's back. This time, it's called Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. Back with a brand new series. A brand new series. And we're going to be breaking it all down. So get this. Based on some really cool articles and reviews we found. It's not a reboot. Oh. It's a sequel. What? Which means That's interesting. we get to see okay. how these characters we all know and love <laughs> have grown up since we right. last saw them. Wow. Plus, it looks like they're really trying to bring back that classic Wizards feel. Yeah. But also add in some new stuff. Oh, that's cool. I like that. A new audience. So are we talking like new characters, new storylines? What are we thinking? Well, for starters, the story focuses on Justin Russo this time. Justin? Really? I would thought Alex. I know, right? What's he been up to? Last we saw him, he was all about wizard training. Well, it seems like he's traded in his wand for a more normal life. Oh, that's kind of sad. But don't worry. The not. magic hasn't left him completely. I should hope not. This article we have, How to Watch Disney's New Series, Wizards Beyond Waverly Place for Free, starring David Henry. Catchy title. It explains that the story starts when Alex... She's back. Oh, yeah. Okay. She introduces Justin to a young wizard named Billy. Tui. Billy, yeah. And Billy needs a mentor. Makes sense. Someone to show them the ropes. Right. And who better than Justin? I mean, he was always the responsible one. Exactly. He's learned from the best. And made a few mistakes along the way. Oh, definitely. But that's how you learn, right? Exactly. So is this like a hero's journey, but with wizards? It is. Justin gets pulled back into the magical world. The world he thought he left behind. Yep. And he has to face his past. Oh, that's interesting. And figure out what it means to be a wizard all over again. It's like coming of age, but with magic. Yeah. And I think it was a smart move oh. to focus on Justin. Well, in the original series, mm. he was always the voice of reason. Right. Trying to keep Alex and Max out of trouble. Exactly. Now he's the one with experience. Okay. The one who needs to pass on his wisdom. This is like a role reversal. Kind of. Yeah. I like it. It's a cool way to explore responsibility and mentorship. Those are some pretty big themes. Oh, yeah. And growing up, too. All those classic coming-of-age things. But with magic wands. Exactly. So tell me, yeah. how can we actually watch this show? Well, it premiered on October 29th okay. at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the Disney Channel. Okay. And for those of us who don't have cable... Don't worry. You can stream it for free oh, on yeah. platforms like Fubo and Sling Orange. Cool. Any other options? Or you can watch it on Disney Plus okay. the day after each episode airs. Oh, that's cool. And get this yeah. to kick things off. Huh? They aired two episodes back to back no way. on the 29th and the 30th. So a double dose of magic. Exactly. I like it. Then the series switches to Fridays okay. at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Makes sense. A regular schedule. Yep. Starting November 8th. Well, that's good to know. They're really going all out with this premiere, huh? It seems like it. What about the cast? Are we going to see any familiar faces? Oh, you better believe it. Spill the beans. David Henry is back as Justin. No way. Yes way. I love him. And from what I've heard, yeah. he's really passionate about this project. That's awesome. He even called it a love letter to the fans. Oh, that's so sweet. I can't wait to see what he does with the character. Me too. Okay, but the real question is, is Selena Gomez coming back as Alex? Drum roll, please. <laughs> Don't keep me in suspense. She is, but yeah. it's just a guest appearance. Oh, well, I guess that's better than nothing. Right. I'm still excited. Me too. Did they say anything about what brings Alex back? No, they're keeping that a secret for now. Ah, uh, the suspense. I know, right? But at least we get to see them together again. It's going to be epic. Okay, so we've got David and Selena. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. Okay. Greg Sulkin is back as Mason. The werewolf. Yep, and Maria Canals Barrera is back as Teresa. So we've got the whole Russo family. Well, most of it. It's going to be so much fun to see them all together again. I agree. Like a big family reunion. Exactly. But with magic. Of course. What about new characters? We've got a few of those, too. Tell me everything. We know Janice Leanne Brown is playing a new character. Okay. Mimi Ginopoulos and Alkai Otili are also joining the cast. Wow, it's a full house. It is. I wonder what their characters will be like. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So we've got familiar faces and new faces. The perfect blend. I can already tell this is going to be good. Me too. What else is new? Well, this might surprise you. Uh, Danielle Fischel is directing 
the series. Wait, Topanga from Boy Meets World? The one and only. Wow, that's unexpected. I know, right? But kind of cool. It is. It's like two of my favorite Disney Channel shows colliding. And it makes sense when you think about it. Or so. Both shows were about growing up, yeah. family, yeah. and friendship. Very wholesome themes. Exactly. So Daniel Fischel is bringing her expertise to the wizarding world. Exactly. I wonder if there will be any Boy Meets World Easter eggs in the show. Ooh, that's a good question. We'll have to keep an eye out. Definitely. Well, this is exciting. It is. I'm already hooked. Me too. But before we get into the actual episodes. Yes. Let's talk about the premiere event itself. Oh, did they go all out? Oh, yeah. It was a magical extravaganza. Tell me more. Selena Gomez showed up in a custom red dress. Of course she did. And her reunion with David Henry was adorable. Okay, any details? Oh, well, they were both so happy to see each other. I bet. And they were laughing and joking. It sounds like it was a really special night. It was. It's clear they all really care about this show. Oh, yeah. And they want to do it justice. I'm so excited to see what they've created. Me too. But before we dive into the premiere episode itself. Yeah. What are your first impressions? I think they did a great job cool. capturing the spirit of the original. That's cool. While also adding something new. Like what? Well, the new characters are really interesting. Okay. And the storylines feel fresh. That's what I like to hear. It's a good balance. I can't wait to see more. Me neither. We'll be back in a flash to break down all the magical moments from the premiere of Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. So any yeah. are you ready to unpack these premiere episodes? Oh, absolutely. I'm dying to know what happened. Okay, well first, I have to say, yeah. they did an amazing job capturing the feel of the original show. Really? Like <laughs> the humor, the characters, all of it. All of it. No, but no, no. they've also added some really cool new elements. Like what? Well, for me, the highlight was definitely seeing Justin as a mentor. Oh, yeah. How was that? It was perfect. He's always been the responsible one. Right. The one with a good head on his shoulders. Exactly. But now, he's not just dealing with his own magical messes. He's got to teach someone else how to do it. Exactly. And it's so fun to watch. What's the dynamic like between him and Billy? It's kind of like how Justin and Alex used to be. Oh, the constant bickering. Yeah, but with a mentor-mentee twist so there's still that sibling rivalry vibe definitely i like it but you can tell justin really cares about billy oh that's sweet and he wants to help her succeed but he's still got that russo sarcasm oh absolutely there are some hilarious moments oh i bet where he's trying so hard to stay patient give me an example okay so there's the scene yeah where billy accidentally turns justin's spell book no. into a flock of pigeons oh my gosh that's classic wizards it is it's that perfect blend of slapstick and heart that's what i loved about the original me too it's funny but it also had those sweet moments and relatable moments totally like everyone makes mistakes exactly even wizards speaking of wizards <laughs> Can we talk about Alex's entrance? Oh my gosh, yes. It was epic. It was. She just waltzes into the sub shop. Like she owns the place. Exactly. And that red dress. Stunning. It was like she was saying, I may not be here all the time, but when I am, I'm going to make it count. That's so Alex. It is. And Selena just slipped right back into the role. Like no time had passed at all. Exactly. Her comedic timing is still perfect. It's amazing. Yeah. So they did a good job balancing the old and the new. They did. We got those classic Russo moments, mm -hmm. but we also met Billy. Right. And learned about her powers. It's like a whole new layer to the story. And Janice Leanne Brown is killing it as Billy. Oh, she is. She brings so much energy to the role. I can't wait to see more of her. Me neither. Oh, and we can't forget about Danielle Fischel. Topanga. Directing the whole thing. It's so cool. I love that connection to Boy Meets World. Me too. And remember what she said about family. About it not always being about blood. Yeah, that's already playing out in the show. It is. Yeah. Like the sub shop. It's more than just a sub shop. Right. It's like a gathering place for everyone. The heart of the community. Exactly. And now with Justin mentoring Billy, that sense of family is expanding. I like that. It's like they're creating a new generation. Of magical misfits. Exactly. Bound together by magic and loyalty. I'm really digging this whole found family theme. Me too. Okay, so we've talked about the good stuff, but there's one big question we haven't addressed. What's that? What about Mason? Oh yeah, the werewolf in the room. Exactly. We know Greg Sulkin is back, but how does he fit into all of this? That's the big mystery. Right. We haven't seen him in the premiere episode. So we have no idea what he's been up to. It's killing me. Me too. 
Will he still be with Alex? Will he be involved in mentoring Billy? Will he and Justin finally become friends? <sighs> so many questions. And let's be honest. Yeah. The potential for drama is high. Oh, absolutely. Remember all that tension with Justin? It was intense. It was. And who knows? Maybe those old rivalries will resurface. Oh, I hope so. It'll be so entertaining. But even if they don't, yeah, I think Mason's return is going to be really interesting. In what way? Well, he represents a specific time in Justin's life. Right. A time when he was still figuring things out. Exactly. So seeing them interact now mm -hmm. could force Justin to confront some of his past. Oh, that's a good point. And maybe even learn something new about himself. It's like a blast from the past. Right. But with the potential for growth and change... I'm here for it. Me too. And who knows? Maybe we'll even get some closure on that love triangle with Alex. Ooh, that would be juicy. Right. Mason was her first love. And it was a big part of her story. It would be fascinating to see how she feels about him now. Especially now that she's more mature. And she seems to be taking on a mentorship role herself. It's like the student has become the teacher. I love it. It's all coming full circle. Okay, I'm officially hooked. I need to know what happens next. Me too. Before we get into all the werewolf drama. Yes. I want to know what you guys think. Are you enjoying the new characters? What are your predictions for the rest of the season? Let us know. We love hearing from fellow Wizards fans. And stay tuned. Because we'll be right back. With more magical insights. And predictions for the future. Of Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. All right, we're back. And ready to unleash the werewolf. We've been teasing Mason's return all episode. It feels like forever. It does, right? And now it's time to really dig into what his presence means for Wizards Beyond Waverly Place. You know, it's interesting how much buzz there is around Mason coming back. Yeah, I've seen a lot of chatter online. It really shows you how much he meant to the fans of the original. He was a fan favorite for sure. He brought something different to the show. Definitely. Like, yeah. not just a love interest for Alex, but a whole new layer with the werewolf stuff. Right. And he made the Russos think about magic in a new way. I mean, who doesn't love a good werewolf? Exactly. Plus, let's be real. Hmm. We all secretly want to see a little tension between him and Justin. Oh, come uh, on. <laughs> you know, we're all thinking it. Remember those early episodes? When they were basically rivals. It was classic wizards drama. Pure gold. Who knows? Maybe those feelings haven't gone away. Oh, I hope not. They're both so proactive of Alex. Yeah, and they both have a history of... Magical mishaps. Can you imagine those two trying to mentor Billy together? Oh, my God. Talk about a recipe for disaster. It would be hilarious. I can already see it. Spells flying everywhere. Furniture turning into random animals. Justin and Mason trying to one-up each other. Oh, it would be amazing. But seriously, yeah. beyond all the potential for comedy, yeah. I think Mason's return could be really good for Justin's character. How so? Well, think about it. We're seeing a more mature Justin now. Right. He's grown up a lot. He's a mentor now. Responsible for someone else. Exactly. So to have Mason come back... Someone from his past? It could force him to face some unresolved issues. Maybe even some stuff with Alex. Ooh, that's a good point. It's Let's... like bringing back a part of his life he thought he'd moved on from. Yeah. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe we'll finally get some closure on that love triangle. I'm here for it. Me too. It would be interesting to see how Alex has changed, too. Right. She's not the same girl she was back then. She seems more mature now. And she's the one who brought Billy into this whole thing. So she's kind of taking on a mentorship role herself. Full circle moment. It is. I'm really curious to see how all these characters play off each other. Me too. It's like a big puzzle. And Mason is just one more piece. A very important piece. Exactly. I think that's what makes a good sequel. Mm -hmm. It's not just redoing the same thing. Right. It's taking what you had before. The original story. And adding something new. New characters, new challenges. And seeing how it all affects the characters we already love. It's like taking your favorite dish and adding a new spice. Exactly. Something yeah. unexpected. In this case, a little werewolf spice. I love that analogy. As we wrap up our deep dive into Wizards Beyond Waverly Place, I think it's important to remember what this revival means. It's more than just a show. Right, it's a celebration of storytelling. Of these characters that we love. And the connection they've created with fans. Across generations. It's a reminder that no matter how old we get, 
there's always room for magic. And maybe this new chapter in the wizard's story will inspire a new generation of fans to embrace their own magic. I love that. <laughs> so what are your predictions for the rest of the season? Will Justin and Mason finally bury the hatchet? Will Billy become a full-fledged wizard? What about Alex? What adventures has she been on? We need answers. We do. But for now, we'll have to wait and see. But one thing's for sure. We'll be here. Wands at the ready. To analyze every magical moment. Thanks for joining us. And until next time. Keep the magic alive.